right, welcome back guys, this is Ivan from BernieBiz.com and uh, I know we've been away for a while, uh, if you watched our prior videos you know a lot of stuff's been happening, uh, we had a fire uh, that we had to take care of, the insurance stuff and the cleanup and uh, a week after that we lost our beloved dog Darcy of 12 and a half years uh, that we loved very much and that was really hard and as you may know we have another dog and uh, she was feeling lonely and we were feeling sad for her so we got a new dog her name is Mika she's a great Dane and it's going along really well they're playing together and it's nice to see that and also we put in a fence around our yard so the dogs can play uh, together uh, so a lot of stuff that we had to take care of takes a lot of time uh, but now we're back and uh, let's jump right away into this tutorial now, as you may have seen uh, last time, uh, I built this uh, two-axis uh, um, camera slider. Uh, it's very rudimentary, it's not uh, perfect yet, but you have one motor that controls the rotation, as you can see here, and we have another one over there that does the uh, sliding part of it. So let me just switch cameras. Uh, so this is a setup we're using, it's very simple. Uh, we're going to be using two easy drivers. Uh, board and a regular Uno and nothing else is required. So all the connections uh, as you can see here are fairly simple uh, Each driver board uses only two pins uh, the way we configured it. Uh, we're using a library called Axel stepper uh, Now like always guys if you want more information like the schematics how everything is plugged in uh, Copy the code and uh, where to download the libraries we use go to brainbuzz.com slash tutorial Click on this tutorial and you'll get to a page where you get all this information so what we're going to do today, we're only going to control both of these steppers, let me switch, both of these steppers here uh, by inputting values into the serial monitor. Uh, so basically the, the Uno is going to be connected to the computer and using the serial monitor we're going to give them move two positions for this guy, this one here, and the other one right here. Uh, so this might be a multi-part tutorial, this one will only show how to input values from the serial monitor to the Uno that we have and in next tutorial in upcoming tutorials we'll make it a little bit more complicated uh, we'll have it calculate the speed the acceleration by its own depending on the move values uh, because basically what I'm trying to do is that if it aims this way as it moves I want this guy to finish at the same time in that same direction so we'll see that in other tutorials uh, so for now we're just gonna see how to control two motors simultaneously uh, using the uh, serial monitor. So we're gonna cut here, let's go look at the code, and then we'll come back and test it out. All right, so let's take a look at the code that's gonna drive this thing. Um, so let's start at the beginning here. We're including the Excel stepper. Like I said, go to brainbiz.com slash tutorial to get a copy of it, and you can find more information about the uh, library right here. Uh, the main setup for the Excel stepper, since we have two, we're making two functions here. Stepper X, which will control the left and right, and Stepper Z, which will be the rotation. And uh, these are the settings. One is uh, for, since we're using easy driver boards, and two and three are connected to pin uh, step and uh, direction on each one of those. So after that, we're going to refer to each one as Stepper X and Stepper Z, or Z. <laughs> um, now we have some variables here to store the value that we're going to enter in the serial monitor. So this is travel X, travel Z, or Z again. Um, then we have a move finished to, uh, and you'll see why we use that, so we can put the information on the serial monitor when the move is finished. Uh, then we have a main setup, the serial, begin. And then we print out some instruction on the serial monitor at start, so enter travel distance separated by a comma, uh, X, comma, Z, or Z, uh, serial print, enter move value nails. So this, is be, this will be displayed right at the beginning. And then we set max speed and acceleration for each stepper. Now the left and right is gonna be faster, as you can see, 500 max speed, 500 acceleration, and the rotation is gonna be a little bit slower because if we put it the same, it, it would rotate very fast. Now in an upcoming tutorial, these values will be, out, I'm trying to figure out a way to calculate it uh, automatically or in another way. So I'll see what I'll do with that so we can adjust these things while we're playing with it instead of hard code like we see here. And then we have our main loop. So basically uh, this is the, uh, the way you read information from the serial monitor. So while serial.available is greater than zero, 
So when it's greater than zero, it checks if values are available in the serial buffer. If they are, then it is true. This, um, this statement is true, so it'll go in here. First thing we do, we say move finished is equal to zero. That's a variable for checking if the move has been completed by the stepper. We'll see that a little bit later. And then we say travel x is equal to serial parse integer. Uh, so basically it will put the first numeric value that we entered in the serial monitor and put it in the, from the buffer and put it in travel x variable. And then we say serial print, just printing out the information travel x and the x travel. So that's just for information purposes. And we do the same thing for the, um, the rotation value. So the second number, second numeric value will be from the buffer will we put into travel z or z. And we print it out here. Now that we have those two values from the serial monitor in those variables, then we can set yeah, in the Excel, um, Excel stepper library, that's the uh, command that you use, stepper x dot move to travel x, which is the, uh, the position that we uh, set uh, in the serial monitor, and stepper z move to travel z. Now, th at this point, the steppers aren't moving yet. They're just, we're just putting the value of the position where we want them to go. Could be a negative value to go counterclockwise or positive value to go uh, clockwise. Now, the way the Excel stepper works is that it keeps the position in memory. So when you start your program, when you plug in the UNO and everything, uh, what will happen is that the steppers where they're at at the beginning will be set to zero position. So I'll show you this when we go back to the test bench. And then we do a delay of one second just for fun. And we print moving stepper into position. Now we checked after that if the stepper have reached the desired position. Now if stepper x distance to go is not equal to zero, meaning there's still some distance to go before it reaches the travel x or travel z, and this is or, this is an or statement. So if this is not equal to zero, or the stepper z, which is a rotation, is not equal to zero. That means the, it hasn't reached the desired position yet. So then we do stepper x run, stepper z run to move the motors. So the motors will keep moving. And with this function, basically uh, Excel stepper library, both steppers will move at the same time. So until it reaches the desired position, it's gonna keep doing this, this part here. Now, when the move is complete, it's, gonna, it's not gonna do this anymore. So if the move is complete, display message on the serial monitor. Now we have three things that we check here that needs to be through. So we got, if the move is finished is equal to zero, it is because we set it at zero right, uh, whoops, right here, when we got into the while loop, when it read from the serial. So let me go back. So if the move finished is equal to zero, it is, and this is an and statement compared to the or statement. So all of these, whoops, sorry, let me go back. So this is an and statement. So if the move is finished is equal to zero and stepper x distance to go is equal to zero, meaning it's reached the desired position, and the stepper of the rotation is equal to zero too. That means all the steppers are, uh, have moved into position and now we say the move is complete. And then we say enter next move value and zero, zero, zero comma zero for reset, meaning come back to the origin when we plugged in everything. And we set move finish to one. So that way when we come back to this loop, if we haven't entered anything in the serial monitor, it's not gonna go in there. And uh, there you go. So that's the code that we're gonna use today. Uh, like I said, uh, we will do more with this code when we come back in the next tutorial. But for now, let's upload this to our Uno, go back and test it out. All right, so welcome back. Now, uh, we've just uploaded the code to the Uno. Everything is powered up. I aligned my uh, steppers so they're facing in the direction of uh, the starting position that I want. Uh, so now, basically, both of these uh, steppers have an origin of zero. Uh, so you're gonna see at the bottom here, this right there, uh, you're gonna see the serial monitor window. We're gonna make some moves and you'll see what happens right here. So let me do that. Let's start by going counterclockwise minus 5,000 uh, for this direction. And the rotation we're gonna do a little bit less, so comma minus 500. And I'm gonna enter that. There we go. And it's starting to move in the direction. If you look at the serial monitor window, until it reaches the position, nothing's gonna happen. 
And there we go, completed, and I can enter a new value. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna enter zero, zero to go back to the origin. So zero comma zero, like so, enter that. And there it goes. So both steppers are moving at the same time, independently, simultaneously. Um, the library Excel stepper is really good for that. So now we're back to the origin, and let's just say I just wanna do a rotation and not do a movement this way. I would just enter zero, which is the position of this stepper right here, comma, let's say, I don't know, 400 to go clockwise, and enter that. So at this point, the only thing that's moving is the rotation. This is not moving. <clears throat> Now, as you saw in the code, this is all art coded, the acceleration, the speed. Uh, in the next tutorial, I'm gonna figure out a way maybe to calculate it automatically based on the distance of this travel so that the rotation ends at the same point. Uh, I'm not sure I'm gonna do it yet, but uh, in the next tutorial, we'll see uh, what I came up with. So that's it for today, guys. I wanna thank you for watching this video. If you like those videos, uh, we try to make videos every week. Uh, lately, there's been some delay because of everything happening, but most of the time uh, we do come out with uh, a video every week. So if you like those videos, please subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to visit BrainyBiz.com uh, where you can get parts and also BrainyBiz.com slash tutorials uh, where you'll find all the information, the schematics, how to plug in everything and download the code and also the libraries that we use in our tutorial. So that's it for today, guys. Until next time, my name is Ivan and I hope to catch you guys real soon. Take care.